Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today I'm going to be installing a condenser coil. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. So in my previous video I removed the condenser coil and in this video we're going to be installing it. Let's begin by roping up the new one up to the roof. It's a beautiful day in Bronx, New York. Got a pretty classy view up here. Loving it, it's beautiful weather. Let's make our way to the other side of the roof so we can bring up this coil. All right, here's the new coil. Let's get this thing up there. All right, so the plan is to rope it up to this roof. Then we gotta get it up there. I'm gonna show part of the background HVAC work that you don't really see in my videos. Climbing stairs, going through windows. This is how we get up to the roof. Pick it up from there. Come up this way. We need to get it up there. <laughs> Camera went a little crazy, but we got it up there. So we ran the rope through this metal bracket so there's no pressure on the coil itself. I got it. The new coil came with this bracket, so we're just gonna reuse that. Taking off these mounts right now. We're gonna slide this out and slide the new coil in. Mount these rubbers on the bottom of each. This one was here. Okay. Watch your legs for a second. Now mount this one over here. And this one was right here. Okay, so now they're all sitting on the rubber. Yeah, don't push down. Then I gotta get these metals to screw in here. So now we're gonna line these holes up. Yeah, do I have to lift? No. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there and do the same for the other side. The coil? To me, towards this way? Yeah. Alright, good. good. Everything lines up. Put in these screws. Same for the bottom. <laughs> we're secure. All right, so we got all the rubbers holding the bottom. There's some rubber pieces in here where there are screws holding. So, got to rebuild this. Put a coupling there. This is where the old coil broke right off, right off the tip, right there, off the aluminum. So we decided to go with a new coil. 
gonna unbraze this stick this pipe in here and change this dryer so make sure that we sand down all our copper before making any connections I'm just gonna cut this pipe see that we don't have any residue of whatever they used to braise this or whatever sand it down and stick it right into the pipe we cut the pipe sanded it down exact fit next let me take this screw off so you don't melt this plastic holder So we rebuilt this and then we rebuilt this side. Just put a coupling, sanded everything down. Now it's time to braze everything. Got myself a wet rag here. I don't want to burn this aluminum. Let's make this connection. The braze was just going right in there because the gap was a little bit too big. This is the original pipe, so I, I just kind of like squeezed it over there. So let's go for this again. needs a little bit of space off this bracket so I just put a pair of channel locks there for this one water for the <laughs> wet rag little trigger to trade off another unit <laughs> connection it's always important to run a little nitro while you're brazing now the brazing is done so we're gonna set this up let's open this up pressurize our system all right charging from the high side when the machine is off and the low side is building up then we're going to check our connections with liquid leak detector. This is made by Refrigeration Technologies. They're awesome. All right. Check all our connections. According to this, no leaks. We're releasing the nitrogen now. open all our valves what I did here was I actually stole power from here <laughs> so I can't get any power and this is how I got power I'm making a separate video on this it's gonna come out after this one make sure to check that out this is an awesome trick of the trade when there's no power source on the roof 
or you don't have an extension cord long enough. So once this nitrogen is fully out, our gauge is reading zero, we're gonna start our vacuum. All right, so from here, it's putting the covers back on while it's pulling a vacuum. The vacuum holds and it's trying to charge this baby up. All right, got this cover on. We got this cover on. Everything looks great. All right, we're already down to 1,000 microns. On its way down, gotta give this thing some time. After that, we are going to charge the system. Typically on the tag, you might see how many pounds of refrigerant is in there and we can weigh it in with a scale but i also have these probes where i'll take this out after we can digitally read our pressures and we could also charge by superheat and subcooling with these probes and this will be a perfect job If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.